Hi, in this class we will continue our study of numbers and the next topic that we are going to learn is introduction to natural and whole numbers. So let us get introduced to natural and whole numbers. We will look at natural numbers first. So I am now describing what is a natural number. Well, whenever we talk of natural numbers, we can say that natural numbers are all the numbers that come to mind while counting something. So, natural numbers come to our mind, we are counting something that is counting number of things. So, suppose we have number of things given to us and if we want to count what is the number, we will say that the count will be represented by a natural number. For instance, if you talk about the number of persons in a given room, then the given room can have one person, it can have two persons, it can have three persons and so on. So if you talk about number of persons, then the number can be one, it can also be two, it can also be three and so on. Well, so all these numbers starting with one, then followed by two, then by three and naturally the fourth number, the next number will be four. This will be followed by a 5 and so on. So all these numbers starting from 1 and extending endlessly, that is this list will go on and on forever. And so all these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 starting from 1 and that go on without ending are called natural numbers. So the list of natural numbers can be this list formed by the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Now note that here, this list is represented by capital letter N. So if you want to represent natural numbers, we can write capital letter N in its place. And suppose to get a better idea of what natural numbers are, we include all these natural numbers within these brackets. So natural numbers denoted by capital N can be 1, they can be 2, they can be 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Note that after 9, the next natural number that will come is 10 and this list will continue beyond 10 as well. Now 11 to 19 we know belongs to this list, so I will just draw dots here to indicate that 12 to 18 are also part of this list. After 19 the next number is 20, followed by 21 and so on. This list will continue till we get finally 99 and even beyond 99 this list will continue. The next number will be 100, the next will be 101 and so on. Now this process of listing the natural numbers is endless because the natural numbers start from 1 but go on without ever stopping. Note that the next natural number is obtained from the previous natural number by adding 1 to it. So 2 is equal to 1 plus 1, 3 is equal to 2 plus 1 and 4 is equal to 3 plus 1. So every next number is obtained by adding 1 to the previous number. So this is the list of natural numbers. Well, and these numbers are called natural numbers because they come to our mind naturally when we are counting a certain number of things. So we've seen what natural numbers are. Well. The next concept that we are going to see is known as whole numbers. So we talked about what natural numbers are and we will now talk about what we mean by whole numbers. Now firstly note that if we are talking about the number of persons in a given room, so let us talk about the same example, we are talking about the number of persons in a given room. We saw that there can be one person in that room or two or three or four or five and so on. But now note that if there is no single person in the room, that is the room is empty or vacant, then we will say that the number of persons in that room is zero. Now, zero is a number that implies nothingness or absence of something or emptiness. And so whenever we include zero in this list, we get a list of whole numbers. So if we add a zero in this list, which was earlier starting from one, but now it will start with zero. So instead of one, I have a zero in its place. And all the subsequent numbers, all the following numbers will be the same as in this list. So 0 will be followed by this entire list that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on till we get to 9, then comes 10, then comes 11 and so on till we get to 19, then comes 20, then comes 21 and so on till we come to 99, then comes 100, then comes 101 and so on. So now note that the new list that we've got is the same as the list of natural numbers but with an additional number which is 0. And now when 0 is also included in this list of counting numbers, we say that this list that we get belongs to whole numbers. So natural numbers are all numbers starting from 1 and increasing that next number by increasing the previous number by 1. So 1 was followed by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 4 and so on. And this list goes on without ever stopping. 
If you look at the whole number list, it starts with zero, but it follows the same rule as the natural number list. Note that in the whole number list, the next number is obtained by adding one to the previous number. So one is zero plus one. Similarly, two is one plus one. Similarly, three is two plus one and so on. So now we've learned what a natural number is and what a whole number is. And we've also seen the list of natural numbers and whole numbers. Now, because in arithmetic operations, we will often use the idea of a diagram. We will use a diagram to represent number, natural numbers and whole numbers. So we've now learned what we mean by natural numbers and what we mean by whole numbers. And we will now extend those concepts and learn how to represent those numbers on a given number line. Now that we've seen what are natural numbers and what are whole numbers, let us see a new concept that is representing natural numbers and whole numbers diagrammatically on a number line. So we will now talk about a new concept that is called number line. And we will now try to represent natural numbers and whole numbers on this number line. Well, firstly, let us look at what a number line is. Now, a number line is a horizontal line. So I will first draw a horizontal line like this. And a number line is nothing but a horizontal line like this which extends to both directions. That is, it extends to the left and it extends to your right as well. And now, to represent numbers on this number line, what I will do is, I will take any point, any point on this line and call it my first point. Now, this is my first point and so I will call it 1. Note that if I take some distance away from 1 to the right of 1, then you will get another equivalent division and the second number will be called 2. So I'm now choosing this is point 1 and this is point 2. In a similar manner, if I take an equal distance and then take one more point to the right of 2, we get a number 3. Continuing this process, I next get 4, then I get 5, then I get 6, 7 and so on. So now we've seen that we can represent each of these natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on a number line, which is a horizontal line. And on this horizontal line, the numbers are evenly laid out. So I'm saying that the numbers are laid out evenly. So I will say the numbers on a number line are laid out evenly or equally spaced. So here on a number line, whenever I write numbers on a given horizontal line, which extends on both sides, negative and positive, or rather left and right hand sides, then in this case, if each of these points represents a number such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. I will call this line as the number line. And on a number line, the numbers are laid out evenly. So I will say that on a number line, numbers are laid out evenly. That is numbers are equally spaced. What this means is distance between 2 and 1 is same as the distance between 3 and 2, which is the same as the distance between 4 and 3 and so on. And now I've represented natural numbers using this list or using this number line. Note that natural numbers started with a one. And so I wrote a one first and then I saw that every number on the right is greater than every its previous number on the left. So two is greater than one. So two lies on the right of one. Similarly, three is greater than one and two. So three lies on the right of one and two. Similarly, four is greater than three, two and one. And so four lies on the right of three, two and one and so on. So you realize that all these numbers lying to the right of a given number are greater than that number. Well, we have so far seen what a number line is. And we've also seen how to represent natural numbers using a number line. And we saw that whenever we move from a given number to the right, we always get a larger number. This can also be stated in an alternate way that we move from a larger number to the left, then we always get a smaller number. So three is smaller than four, because if we move left, we will get a smaller number. Similarly, from 3 if we move left, we will get a still smaller number 2. And this process can continue. So from 2 if you go one step left, you will get 1. But now, from 1 if you take one step over the left, what will you get? Well, now, earlier we were at point 1 and we are moving one step to the left. And so, here the point that we will get or the number that we will get is 0. Because we are moving one step to the left of 1. Now, when we were representing natural numbers on a number line, we had the number line starting from the point one itself. But now we are representing whole numbers as well. And so we will have to represent a zero somewhere. Now, because zero is less than one, it will come to the left of one. And so here, the zero will be to the left of one. And so these are the way, and this is the way of representing all the numbers that are called whole numbers on a number line.